Hello, Cancer viewers. So I'm going to look into what your person is thinking, feeling, wanting, and what action they might be taking towards you over the next couple weeks or so. So let's see what the cards want to say. So for the Cancers that are watching this, what do you need to know about your life right now? What's going on with you? Isolation, loneliness, emptiness, pause, reflection, rest. Um, magic, power, and intention. So you are coming out of a phase where, you know, things have just been kind of stagnant. Beauty, mystery, enchantment, love offer, commitment, pride, and stubbornness, and a sense of belonging, home, safe space. So it's pretty good energy here. I see you coming out of a period where... Things have just been kind of empty, stagnant, you know, not going the way that you want them to go. And you're really stepping back into your power and making your life what you want it to be. I think, yeah, I think you went through a rough phase. I think that you were isolated for a while. You're feeling alone, but you took that time to pause, reflect, to rest. I think you're coming out of that phase a much stronger person. I think you learned a lot. I think there might have been some shit you were tolerating from somebody that you're not really tolerating anymore. You know, you're stepping into your power. You're manifesting the life that you want. You're, you're coming out of this dark phase, you know, into the light. And you're reclaiming its, like, beauty, mystery, enchantment. Like, all that that natural seductive energy, just the things that you love about yourself, your passions, your hobbies, you're reclaiming all those things. You're getting into this, you know, I think beauty and mystery stands out here a lot. Like you didn't, almost like you let yourself go for a little while and now you're caring about, not just, not just your appearance, but it's like you're just in this more, you're coming into this more seductive energy. Like you're you lost yourself for a little bit and you're remembering who you are and you're getting your confidence back and you're being the enchanting person that you usually are and you're manifesting the life that you want. And I do think that you're going to manifest a love offer from someone, but I don't think it's going to be everything you want it to be. You know what I mean? Because I think that you let this person in when you were in a more vulnerable, lonely state and I think that they kind of just messed with your head and they just hurt you and they weren't really there for you when you needed them to be. And so I think when this does come back around, you're going to be so confident and so it's like you lost yourself with this person and you're going to find yourself again. And so when this per comes back, when this does come back around, I don't think you're going to want to entertain it again this time around because it's like you found yourself and you're going to want to keep yourself and keep your pride and your self-respect above all else. For some of you, it's just that you were lonely and you reached out to this person and you were vulnerable and they just kind of left you hanging. They just ghosted you or they just didn't commit and they just made you feel worse and just kind of left you alone when you needed them the most. For others, you know, this person was the reason for your loneliness. This person kept messing with your head and you kept losing yourself. It's like an abusive or a toxic connection or just a connection that's just kind of negative and... You know, you think you kind of lost yourself to this connection. And so when it comes back around, you might just be choosing you over. I think you're going to just choose yourself over this connection. I don't think you're going to want to entertain it. But again, you're in your power. So it is something is coming back around. A safe space, home, belonging. I think you're just kind of protecting yourself. You're shielding your energy from this connection. I think you just have this desire to not do that again, you know. Let's see what we can get on new people coming in. So is there a second option? Like, we know that we don't want that person back around. I think when it comes back, you're not going to want it, even if you want it now. I mean, if it was toxic, I don't think you're going to want it, if this is your story, that is. Um, can we get any energy on a new person? Like, what is, what's the energy when it comes to love with somebody else, with somebody who might be more positive? Because I have picked up, I think the last reading I did, I was picking up like a twin flame or life partner kind of energy coming in. So let's see what else we can get here. Yeah, we got life partner card again. <laughs> we got third party distraction and karmic partner. 
yeah, maybe the third party was distracting you from manifesting your life partner, and now you're letting that go. We got confusion and uncertainty. We've got submissive, weak-willed. We've got clubs, parties, social life. We've got true love, life partner. We've got finances and career. We've got manipulation and deception, and overthinking, overanalyzing, and self-sabotage. So this is probably a third-party energy we're getting here. I do see true love coming in. I think that you're so guarded at this time that I don't know if you're going to recognize it when it comes in. So I see this third party distraction, which is like this toxic karmic partner that you've had around or like these toxic patterns that you've had with like emotionally unavailable people. I kind of feel like they've left you like confused and uncertain and just un like you're just you kind of just lost yourself for a while. And, and now I think you're finding yourself again. But they left you with this uncertainty of like who to trust. It's like you don't even trust yourself at this time. Because it's like you trusted this toxic person or these toxic people. Again, it might not be necessarily a person that's recent. It could just be like a pattern that you have. But it's like you just trusted all the wrong people. And so it's like you have this uncertainty and this this hard time trusting yourself after, you know, this this long line of failing relationships. And so there there is this third party distraction where it's like you might have some blocks to love because of it, because of of what you've had to go through with people, you know, a third party distraction could be a karmic partner that's distracting you, but it could also just be like your patterns and stuff where it's like somebody that, somebody that's just distracting you, like kind of keeping you on the hook, but they never fully committed and they were kind of blocking you from opening yourself up to finding true love. But I think you're coming out of that energy now. I think that you're, you know that you don't want that anymore. You're no, you know that you're kind of just done with that. You're kind of just over it. And so you're really taking some time to go inward and heal and, and find yourself and reclaim yourself. Because I sense that normally you usually have a very strong spirit, like very strong, very feisty, very stubborn, very independent. And you lost a lot of that independence to this person. You know, you became kind of codependent and just lost yourself in them. And, you know, I think you're moving on from that now. You're either moving on from a person or you're moving on from a pattern with people like that, where it's just emotionally unavailable people and you losing yourself with them. And and you're, you're putting yourself first, finally. You're, you're reclaiming yourself and finding yourself and you're ending those patterns. You're ending those toxic, stagnant relationships and connections. You're trying to live your best life. Um, there is some confusion and uncertainty, though. You know, some still some damage. Like some, it's almost like you have trust issues with yourself because it's like you trusted all the wrong people, and so you're not sure how to. It's like your picker is broken, so you're trying to figure out how to how to open yourself up again. And you know, with submissive and weak willed here. I think that you kind of gave into vanity for a while. It's like with clubs, parties, social life. It's like, see, she's like very vain. <laughs> it's like you gave into like lust and appearances and these facades and not fully being your true self. And I think this life partner is going to come in and just sweep you off your feet and just knock. Like you're not even going to going to know what to do. I don't, I think you're not going to be used to it. It's like this person isn't going to play games. They're not going to deal with, with whatever this other energy is. They're not going to deal with the games. They're not going to, they're going to want something real and open and genuine. And so if you're kind of defensive, they're not going to really have a whole lot of patience for it. They're going to try to be patient, but I don't know how long it's going to last. You know, there is, this is a potential life partner coming in. It's just kind of, it's going to surprise you. It's going to come in out of nowhere, I feel it's just going to be like you're out and you just meet someone and it's just it, everything just clicks and falls into place. But you're going to be you're still going to be afraid of letting somebody new in and you're still healing and you're still not sure how to trust people. And so you might doubt this connection when it comes in. You might kind of sabotage it and and overthink it and wonder if it's too good to be true. And you're going to be trying to focus on your finances and career and you're going to have true love right here in front of you, too. And you're going to try to just focus on money because you don't want to open your heart and focus on love again, you know. So you're using the money and the career and job and whatever else as a distraction. I think 
in the past it's like you've just been so manipulated and deceived by people and so you're overthinking and overanalyzing and self-sabotaging right now because you're afraid of going through that again there's a lot of fear that you've got to work through and a lot of just you know ending that pattern but not only ending the pattern but also using your intuition to tell who's good for you and who's not good for you and doing genuine healing like don't just stick a band-aid on it and just pretend like everything's okay and try to make everything a power struggle or try to be in control of everything that's just more ego you know what I mean like you need to do genuine healing not just like oh I'm the shit I got everything under control like I'm good whatever because then you're still ignoring the wounds you're still not letting yourself heal you're still suppressing it and pretending like you don't feel anything for anyone and you're just you're the shit you're above all of it you know what I mean and it's like you gotta let yourself genuinely heal and feel it and process it and release it and then know that true love is coming in you gotta find a good balance between love and career and and your other pursuits I feel like you don't have a good balance or like in the past you haven't had a good balance because it's almost like you open your heart and then you get hurt and then you close yourself off completely and just focus on on career and hobbies and whatever else and like don't focus on love so it's like you got to find a better balance now you know trusting people slowly getting to know people over time using your intuition to read people and feel people out like you have to have a better balance of heart and mind so when this true love does come in can we see what's going to go what's what's how is that what's going to happen can we get some more clarity on what that's going to look like you know i think this person is again coming in i think it's going to surprise you i really think it's going to I think it's going to surprise you. Cold, guarded, distrusting, hesitation, mixed feelings. That's still your energy, yeah. Oh. Publicity, social uh, stagnation, complacency. Publicity, social media, nostalgia and longing, beauty, mystery, enchantment, vulnerability and receptivity, and truth and clarity. What is that card? That card wanted to pop out. Prophetic dreaming. Yeah, a lot of lucid dreaming, astral travel, a lot of psychic com communication possibly. Maybe your souls are preparing for this union, this connection coming in, in quick. Yeah, I think it's going to be a struggle trusting this person. I think it's just going to feel too good to be true. There's going to be some hesitation, some fear, some stagnation. You know, it's still kind of just trusting. And it's it's good to be on edge a little bit. It's good to be aware of, you know, you do need to develop your intuition further and really be aware when you meet new people because you do have to break any patterns that you might have of being attracted to emotionally unavailable people. You know, you do really want to work on yourself and... And make sure you're letting the right people in. And again, it's also just important to have a balance, you know, between heart and mind and soul. I do see... So with publicity and social media, it's like this person might be longing for you, kind of like... Or you could be nostalgic and longing for somebody too. But I feel like this person might be like watching you publicly on social media and they're just noticing your beauty. They're noticing you're they're just you're enchanted by you they're noticing you they're they're looking at you they're seeing you as someone that deserves to be in the spotlight could be someone who's helping you get ahead with your career as well or just someone that's just kind of something something to do with publicity like something like maybe helping you ahead with your career or just somebody that's just just really noticing you just noticing your energy and they feel like this this longing for you they're watching you. They notice your beauty and your enchantment. I think that their respect for you is going to help you slowly get into this state where you can be more vulnerable and receptive and start healing from all this. Um, and you're going to have some truth and clarity come out. So you're going to start learning how to, how to find a good, healthy balance, I think, when it comes to, you know, you know balancing your heart and mind, basically. Um... Can we get any further messages on 
from this life partner that's coming in. Sometimes they just don't want to say too much about this person either because it's like they want you to just kind of live your life and discover it because I think you're in this process where again you're letting go of control issues and you're letting go of the things that are no longer serving you like letting go of everything that just isn't you anymore but it's kind of you're kind of being stubborn almost it's like this this back and forth energy where it's like you're still having a hard time just letting things flow naturally like you're still scared you're just still really scared of getting hurt by someone again you still want to it's still kind of a power struggle between you and the in the universe or you and you know anyone that's coming in it's like you want to be in control of things you want to make sure you don't get hurt you want to make sure you keep your independence which makes sense you know because you have been hurt a lot especially recently it's like you don't want to lose yourself again you want to remember the strong feisty confident person you usually are and you want to stick to that but it's just saying when new love comes in like there's a balance you don't have to let them in and fall for them overnight and let them control you and let them do whatever they want but you don't have to be cold and guarded with them and shut them out completely either you know what I mean like you need to find that balance that middle ground between heart and mind so it's like you don't sabotage this connection and push them away you know it's like you you don't have to just dive right in you can get to know them slowly but don't expect them to be like your exes don't put that pressure on them right away when you're just meeting them you know what I mean like give them a chance give them some kind of chance and again just use your intuition to feel who's good for you and who's not good for you like you can be cautious um and really take your time getting to know someone without completely being cold and shutting them out you know what I mean just just balance is really the key here um, I think about you all the time. The nostalgia hurts deeply. I regret what I said to you. I feel like you're out of my league. You're too good for me. I feel nervous and shy around you. So yeah, somebody really is noticing your beauty and your confidence and you're just, you have a very strong feisty energy to you and somebody is really noticing that and admiring it. Like they admire your dominance, but it scares them at the same time. And they're trying to figure out how to talk to you. So if you're just getting to know someone, make sure that you're, because I do get like a defensive energy. So if you've just been hurt, make sure you're mindful of your body language and be mindful of your energy too, because you might be sending out the wrong messages. You might be making potential life partners or potential like secret admirers, just people noticing you. You might kind of be making them feel like you're like aloof and cold and guarded and distant, and they might not know how to approach you. You know, like they might think that you're just not interested in dating. Like you're just, you have, you're independent. You just have your own thing going on. You don't care about love. Like they might get the wrong message and they might be too afraid to, to reach out and make a move. So try to, try to find a balance between being strong, but also being open to new people at the same time. You know, this person wants to be open and honest and vulnerable with you. They want to tell you their secrets. You hold the key, clear the path for love to enter. So yeah, like I said, be mindful of your energy and your body language. Be mindful of your affirmations and what you're telling the universe. You know, try to try to try to not be too pessimistic when it comes to love. I'm intentionally telepathically communicating with you. I'm trying to manifest our reunion. Okay, so a telepathic bond here. My life is busy and chaotic. I feel numb. I'm running on autopilot. And then we've got, I'm being watched. I want to reach out, but there are people around me. So yeah, there is this energy of like somebody really wanting to talk to you, but trying to figure out how to go about it. Um, I hope that helps. And if you're interested in purchasing, purchasing either of these decks, go ahead and email me. I don't have my shop up, but I do have both these decks that I just made for sale. Um, and if it resonates, go ahead and subscribe to me. You know, like, share, subscribe. Thank you.